first of all, uh, a big thank you to everybody. I've, I've been told on this occasion, whenever my name is called out, I have to doff my hat. So, if you, so it, it, as, kind, as kind and wonderful as it is for you to be calling out my name, but I can't be standing here doing this the whole day. <laughs> thank you very much. First of all, uh, um, thank you um, to everybody present here, the Chancellor, Mr. John Brumby, uh, Professor Susan, all the other faculty members, the parliamentarians, distinguished parliamentarians, me too, uh, Caroline Pitcher, all the students here uh, for giving me this opportunity to be here this uh, afternoon. And I'm extremely, extremely grateful uh, for having me over here and very touched <coughs> by the big python, which I, <laughs> which was, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's my first time where I've ever touched a snake. So thank you, that's, that's the first time lifetime experience. And it can only happen in La Trobe University. So, thank you. <coughs> um, so it, it, it is indeed a privilege for me to receive this honorary doctorate today. I feel a little like a cheat though, because our work at Me Foundation isn't intended to be rewarded except by the meaning that it brings to all our lives. When I first decided to start a foundation that worked towards the rehabilitation of acid attack victims, it was an idea that came to me directly from my everyday experience. I work with women for whom beauty is a professional demand. I see how the demand impacts their lives, even when they are physically the most beautiful women in the country or perhaps even in the world. I experienced firsthand the superficiality of social values that place a woman's appearance before her inner worth. I wanted to subvert that idea to create a space in which a woman can be freed of these archaic notions and the true source of her beauty could be celebrated. As I was thinking of a way to create this space, I happened to meet a couple of ladies who I'll just uh, mention the names. Uh, one lady was Reshma, uh, a young lady who just somehow did not agree to a proposal of a man for wedding. And he took her back, um, took his back on her by throwing acid on her face. She must have been 19, 20 at that time. Um, there's another lady I met, her name is Mamta, who was married to a man who turned out to be extremely abusive physically and mentally. She even tried not to carry his child, uh, just in case it becomes an issue for the baby too, but he forced her to have the child, and then uh, threw acid on her face. Both these women, when I speak to them, when I spoke to them, when I met them, one of them said to me <clears throat> that I would never let this man me, uh, win because I have decided not to lose, and as long as I have decided not to lose. This man cannot have victory over my life. The other lady still believes in the beauty of love, so I will excuse myself and say one of the poems um, she recites and keeps sending them to me. Her name is Mamta. Um, and the poem is, Pyar karne wale, pyar karne wale, milte hain, aankhon se karte hain baat. Pyar karne wale, aankhon se karte hain baat. Khabo mein milkar karte hain mulakat. वैसे तो आसमां भी रोता है जमीन के लिए हम लोग उसको समझते हैं बरसात which which roughly translated means uh, just keep on making love and it's a good thing to do that <laughs> so here were women who had been <laughs> is that time of equality and a lot of courage for me to do this, yeah? <laughs> so these were women who had been brutally attacked for no explicable reason. Their physical features were damaged almost beyond repair, but their inner resources of courage, strength, and resilience were stronger than any of the most accomplished women or men that I had ever met. It was that day that I knew the work of the Mir Foundation would truly be worthwhile if it could enable and empower the lives of women like these and help turn their bravery into resource for other women who battle the kind of suffering that they have. I'm proud to say that we have shared in the valiance, in the valiant journeys of young women. We have learned life's deepest, deepest lessons from them and our admiration for them grows every moment. This award is not an award for anything that our foundation might have done or achieved. 
It is an award for the courage of every woman who faces the brutality of injustice, inequality, and inhumanity. I'm deeply, deeply grateful to the university, the Latrobe University. Do I pronounce it right? Latrobe. Latrobe, okay. I'm deeply grateful to Latrobe University for its graciousness in offering scholarships for the education of young girls from my country. We live in a world that is increasingly plagued by the sharing of negative sentiments and a narrowing of humanity. More often than not, societies are tending to reward anger and hatred rather than nurture compassion and love. To have flown across oceans to another continent and been received in the name of compassion and sharing is a testament to the fact that despite all the ugliness that we see in the world today, there persists in the fabric of humanity a deep conviction of love and cooperation. It is in this conviction that our world will sustain its beauty and our lives will break false barriers and touch one another with truth. I'm extremely, extremely touched and grateful by your graciousness and your kindness um, to women students, to all the students who are present here. And uh, I doff my hat a million times for all of you who are calling me SRK, SRK, and Shah. Thank you very much for having me over here. Thank you all for taking our time for me. May Allah bless you and give you happiness and health always. And thank you once again. Thank you.